Hey, what's up guys? It's Gemini. Welcome back to my professional wrestling channel. I'm back from my two-week hiatus with my head up my my uh, butt. So let's get to it. Let's have some fun. Um, this one goes out for my buddy the Iceman. One of the coolest guys on here. This one goes out for all my true wrestling fans. Let's do it. Alright, had to let that out real quick. Okay. Let's have some fun, Daddy. Um, haven't been drinking in a couple days. Head is clear. Um, feeling pretty good. It's amazing what a couple days without some alcohol could do to clear your mind, for sure. Feel better just by not having some alcohol the last couple days. I got a little bit of a drinking problem. I'm not the only one, but uh, you know, I just go a couple days and I, I feel good. I'm not going to blame all those videos on the drinking aspect, but it, you sure feel fucking good when you quit. I mean, man, the way I feel right now, I feel so damn good. I don't even want to drink another beer, honestly. But anyways, that's my cross to bear. Let's get to wrestling here. <clears throat> the biggest fail in the history of professional wrestling. What could it be? Could it be possibly David Arquette winning the World Heavyweight Championship, a, Holly, Holly, uh, a skinny Hollywood actor holding the most prestigious championship, the belt that Ric Flair wore? Could it be Vince Russo being the WCW World Champion? Could it be... Let's see, what else is a big fail? Could it be Midian running around naked? No. Biggest fail of all time happened in WCW in 1991. Here we go. Uh, there president at the time was a man named Jim Hurd, and I know I've spoken of this video before. Um, Jim Hurd uh, was a TV manager. And Jim Hurd was a, uh, a Pizza Hut man. A fat Pizza Hut uh, butthead. I try not to swear in this video because there is little kitties watching and I do respect that moms and dads watch with their kitties. So I am trying to clean it up a little bit. Um, Jim Hurd <laughs> the dude tries to crack whip on the greatest wrestler, second greatest wrestler I've ever seen, Nature Boy Ric Flair. Shawn Michaels is the first. Uh, Ric Flair's the second. He tries to crack whip on Ric Flair. He wants to cut Ric Flair's uh, hair, give him a diamond earring, and call him Spartacus. I, I mean, this is beyond comprehension. To take Ric Flair, the multi-time, 16-time world heavyweight champion, and change his gimmick because you don't like him. You have to be kidding me. He pisses Flair off to the point where Flair goes to the WWF, and he's very successful, and he wrestles some of the best matches I had ever seen in 91 and 92. Flair still had it in 92. Watch the Royal Rumble. Flair still had it in 92. He won the WWF world title two different times and main evented all year. And Jim Hearn let him go over the WWF, the competition. Now, if you were the president of the company, would you let your best worker go to the rival company next to you? I mean, think about this for a second. This is crazy. Spartacus. What the hell was Jim Hurd? thinking to change Ric Flair's gimmick. You don't fix something if it's not broken. Okay? If your fucking satellite on your TV goes out, fix it. But if it has a damn good picture, the best picture, you're not gonna go out and fucking change your antenna or your satellite. I mean, this is truly the biggest um, <coughs> excuse me, Fail in the history of wrestling. No doubt. Be right back. I mean, honestly, guys. I mean, Ric Flair was the he was the NWA. He was the WCW. I mean, he was the the franchise. He was the flagship um, player for the company, and it's just beyond comprehension to me that. Uh, the NWA slash WCW would have the, I mean, the, the brain power to 
change Ric Flair. Um, I just, I mean, it's it's baffling to me why you would. I mean, that would be the equivalent of like letting Stone Cold Steve Austin go. Oh wait, they did that. <laughs> or letting Triple H. Wait, they did that. Or letting McFoot. Wait, they did that too. Or letting Hunter Hearst. Wait, they did that too. But letting Ric Flair go over the WWF in 91. If you guys ever get a chance to watch Great American Bash 91, they did a, a, a cage match for the title. It was Luger. And I want to say Dustin Rhodes in the final of the tournament. Or maybe it was uh, Luger and Wyndham. I have, I have a hard time remembering. They had a big cage match for the title, Great American Bash 91. I'm going to go with Wyndham and uh, MC would know this. I'm going to go with Wyndham and Luger. Luger won the title. And all the fans did was chant, We want Flair. We want Flair. Jim Hardy had the audacity to strip the belt off Flair and uh, let Flair bring the, uh, the gold belt over the WWF and show it on live TV. <laughs> it's just, this is a, a true fail. Spartacus. It, it's hard to move past the logic here. That would be the equivalent of um, having a WrestleMania and uh, having The Undertaker lose to Kofi Kingston. I mean, it just... it It's like... This, to me, is like beyond comprehension how you would let Ric Flair go to WWF and why you'd want to change him. Maybe you guys have an opinion on it, how we thought that Spartacus was going to get over. I have no idea. Just wanted to make this video and let you guys know Jam's feeling good. And uh, I thought that that was a big fail and I haven't been drinking lately, so feeling pretty good. So, Jim and I, I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, just to add a little more to the subject, this is the 92 Royal Rumble for you old schoolers. Ric Flair wrestled for an hour. The Royal Rumble was for the WWF World Heavyweight title because it was held up because of the controversy at Tuesday in Texas between Undertaker and Hogan. So the title's held up. And listen to this lineup that was in the Rumble 92. Hogan, Undertaker, Flair, Macho Man, Justice, Jake Roberts, Bulldog Virgil, Texas Tornado, Warlord, El Matador, IRS, Colonel Mustafa, Teddy Biasi, Nasty Boys, Action Jim Duggan, Big Boss Man, Shawn Michaels, Repo Man, Berserker, Barbarian, Sergeant Slaughter, <clears throat> Skinner, Jimmy Snooker, Greg Valentine, Hercules, Rick Martel. I mean, we're talking so. I mean, this is the most star studded Royal Rumble of all times. And this is 92. This is 1992, and uh, Hurt sent this guy out of the company? And he could wrestle. He, Flair won this for an hour and wrestled his ass off. Flair main evented WrestleMania that year was Savage and had a tremendous match. I mean, Flair was still, I mean, in his prime in 92. He was still wrestling sick matches. Him and Savage had a great feud. And I'm not talking about the lifeguard match. Him and uh, Flair and Savage had a great feud in 92. You know, the whole thing with Elizabeth. The pictures in the Hoosier Dome. I always wanted to see the pictures, by the way, but they never showed them. Um, but the, the thought process, Spartacus. Wow. I mean, it's just this is the biggest fail in the history of wrestling. Barnard. Gemini, hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching.